is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Charisma Robinson. In an effort to promote constructive discussions between the private sector and the government on the proposed value-added tax, the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employees Confederation formed a tax reform committee. The committee has invited various industry associations and the affiliate Family Island Chambers to participate in this broad-based private sector working group. To assist with this process, a series of public information sessions are being planned in cooperation with the Ministry of Finance. The Bahamas International Securities Exchange submitted an application for its new Sapphire Venture Fund to be listed on the exchange's mutual fund listing facility. The Sapphire Venture Fund is the first smart fund to be listed on the exchange. Smart Fund stands for Specific Mandate Alternative Regulatory Test Fund and is a Bahamian design asset management structure to combine the flexibility required by service providers with the responsibilities of regulators. And in international business news, Hyundai Motor Company will defer payments due from U.S. federal employees affected by the partial government shutdown. More than 700,000 employees face unpaid leave due to the shutdown. Hyundai said affected employees who currently own its vehicles will be given a payment relief for as long as they are out of work. And employees looking to buy a new car will be given a 90-day payment deferral. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Charisma Robinson.